welcome. And welcome back to Bambi Bakes. I am the Bambi Banks Kool-Aid. Welcome to my kitchen where we bake sweets with marijuana treats and spill the tea with my friends. And I'm not just baking, I'm baking, baking. <laughs> and we have gathered some of the most potent ingredients from Dispensary 33. <laughs> Today, we're giving 70s looks, so the tea is all about the war on drugs. Can you dig it? <laughs> Here to help me is my friend, the poise, the perfect, the pretty, the pink, <laughs> Lucy Stool. <gasps> Bambi, hi. How are you, gorgeous? Well, you know, I can't complain. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen again. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Are you ready to get baked? I am more than ready to get baked. <laughs> today, we are making Lucy Stool's medicated mushroom tart. So let's get into the recipe and reality of it all. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy is gonna take us through the ingredients you'll need to make this cute little dish, and I'm gonna follow up with some marijuana statistics that ain't so cute. Shall we? Get into it. <laughs> First up, we wanna get this dough started. We'll need two and one third cups of all purpose flour. If all lives matter, why are white people the only ones making dough off legalized weed? Oh, <laughs> so we just gonna jump right in with the real stuff. Uh, why sugarcoat it? You're right. It's only half a teaspoon of sugar for this recipe. One teaspoon of culture salt. And one cup of unsalted can of butter. Over one million folks have been charged for possession in the last decade. Uh, one fourth to three fourths cup of water as needed. Good, because I need something to wash that down. <laughs> Let's get into the ingredients for this filling. Start with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Over two million people have been incarcerated for drug charges. Add in some kosher salt, some black pepper, <laughs> and eight cups of white mustard. Black folks are eight times more likely to face criminal charges than white folks who have been arrested. I got time. Me too, uh, but just one tablespoon of time. <laughs> Two large eggs and one cup of heavy cream. Finally, one half cups of Parmesan. Drug busts are made every half a minute. Meaning, I'm done. I, I, need, I need a break. Oh, God. Okay, well, meaning four people were caught doing drugs during this recipe alone. Bambi! <laughs> well, I guess that makes five. You want to hit? Yeah, that's <laughs> Okay, let's get this tart started. Where do we start, Miss Lucy Stool? Okay, well, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's go ahead and pull this flour back out again. Uh huh. And we are going to need our salt and our little bit of sugar. Do we want to put this in the mixer? So we would normally mix this by hand, but seeing as how our hands are not made to mix things, we're going to go ahead and do it. Period. So then we go ahead and toss those in too because we want to whisk those up first. So we whisk that up and mix that all together. You're right. I'm a bad housewife. Perfect. So give that a little whisk, a little spin, a little turn. That's good. Nothing too crazy. So now you're going to want to take that butter out. Oh. And we're going to take our prepared butter that's been cut into small chunks like this. Awesome, that's perfect. Hi. So at this point, this is when you would take your hands and you want to squeeze and mix all the butter into the flour. Sure. You're gonna wanna do that until it gets mealy and there are no like big chunks of butter. But um, yeah, we can't really do that right now. So we'll let the magic of the Okay, so here it is what you will have after this is all mixed and done. You'll have one big lump and then you wanna split it into two and then we wanna wrap those in plastic wrap so we can put them in the fridge for at least an hour. Work. And then while that is resting, we go ahead and start preparing our filling. Okay, great. We wanna get that oil that I spilled everywhere and go <laughs> ahead and put that into our nice soft hay pan, yes. After you heat that up on medium, you wanna go ahead and toss in your red onion. You wanna saute those and really don't bother too much. You're gonna stir them maybe four or five times during this whole process. You wanna let them get a good brown on them, but don't let them get burnt. Well, 
it's time to play a game called Soul Strain Scrabble, where we have to unscrabble these letters in 45 seconds, and they might spell out a famous black person, a weed strain, iconic gay moment, okay. any of those things. So, are you ready for the clue? I'm ready. Okay. <clears throat> You've heard of two girls, one cup, but what about two cowboys, one mountain? <laughs> the timer's starting now. Okay. Okay. Well, if you don't know this iconic, legendary, Caucasian film. <laughs> um, One of the few that I might, pay attention to. You might not be a homosexual. You know, this movie taught me that jeans work as a great move. Oh. It's true. Is that what you took from that? Yeah, what'd you get from it? Oh, um, not bad. <laughs> Y'all know I can't spell. <laughs> now you should get it. Got mouth down. Oh, okay. Are we done? <laughs> okay, well, the time is up, but we got it. Y'all can kiss my ass. We, got, it. we got nails on. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Here is our second clue a coming of age movie about a black boy and his sexuality. Also, the winner of the biggest Oscar fumble in years. The time starts. Now, okay. you already did it. It. <laughs> it, took it, it. it took me longer than the nails. Ah! It took me longer than the nails. And I was like, y'all won't get us for this one. Ugh. There we go. Moonlight. Moonlight. <laughs> what a great film. What a great yes. film. Thank you so much Beautiful. for playing Soul Strain Scrabble. Lucy, you're good at this. I win. You know, I'm old enough to remember when they did this on Soul Strain. We need to get you. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's where this is based on, right? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we got the onion salt pan, that's gonna take about five to seven minutes. We wanna make sure that they do not burn, but they get a good brown on them. So after they're done browning, uh, can you grab our good mixing bowl over yeah. there? Fantastic. I can. We're gonna go ahead and dump those in the mixing bowl. Because okay. we're going to cook the mushrooms and the onions separately. We wanna make sure that each of these has time to cook properly. And as you know, mushrooms have a lot of liquid to release, and if you mix that together, it'll make it hard on mushy. You don't want that. So don't forget to separate. So now we're gonna put the rest of that oil in there that we got, that olive oil. Mm. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and toss in our mushrooms. Those are gonna take a little bit longer to cook, probably about 10 to 12 minutes. Yet again, we don't wanna let those burn because this is all going to be in the oven again. We just wanna get a nice little brown on them and make sure all the liquid has evaporated by that. Great job, Bambi, getting it started. Uh, I love a good mushroom. So what we can actually do while that stuff is sitting on the top of the stove, you can grab your heavy cream and your egg. Okay. And we can go ahead and make that little liquid part to the filling that we need. There we go. Resourceful right. queens. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and add your heavy cream and the two eggs to this bowl. Crack those eggs, try to leave the shells out of it if possible. We'll do it, let's watch it. Baby, we had it cool to get the eggs here. <laughs> These are the two that survived, okay? Ooh. Oh, she did it! Fantastic! Thank you. Now, after we get both of those eggs in there, you're gonna go, to go ahead and whisk that mixture just to mix it, though. We don't want to get it too early because it's too crazy. Right? Uh, that's wild, that's wild. We're getting oh. wild in the kitchen here at Bambi Bakes. So whisk that up. And then that after that is all whisked, mm -hmm. beautiful, that's a great whisk of Look at you, so ready and adapt in the kitchen. After that's all whisked, we're going to add that to our onion and mushroom mixture. But please make sure you do not mix the two before the onion mushroom mixture has time to that will cook your eggs, and that will not lead to a good tart. Okay, that's good. You got it, you got it. Hi. You're doing so great, love. Uh, so go ahead and grab those mushrooms off the stove top. Okay. Amazing, you'll add that to your onion. Ooh, you smell that? Yeah. Smell what we cooking, smell what we throwing down. Now that we have our little cream egg mixture, you can add that to the 
onion mushroom mixture. Oh, fantastic. I want to give that a good stir. Oh, yeah, get all of it. Can you mix this again with the whisk? Ah, just not, not with the whisk. This seems a little off. Right. See, she figured it stays out on her arm. You know, teach them how to fish instead of, you know, giving them whatever that like bite that they want about it. Um, so <laughs> after that, we're going to go ahead and mix in the Parmesan to this. Okay. Give me some corn. Okay. Wow. Was that wrong? No, I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're passionate about it. You need to be passionate about your tart. You know, what you're doing and how you feel while you're making the food translates into the finished product. So if it's a sexy dish, you know, you got to be sexy while you're making it. You know, I cook her with lunch. Oh, I love you that. Know. A little love and tart. Mm. Now let's make sure we throw our thyme and the rest of our pepper and our salt in. This is my favorite tart. I think wow. it's because I didn't have this. Wow. Y'all heard of salt bay? Pepper bay. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. That's pretty accurate. Ooh. It's spicy. Some people can't handle it. Child. People fought wars over it. True. <laughs> 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 and now that we got that all good and mixed up, we're going to go ahead and sit that to the side oh. and prepare our dough to be I put into that. the tart pan. Okay. We got our tart pan, which is lovely. Oh, you even got one of the beautiful ones with the removable bottom. This is fantastic. It just helps so much with the baking. So grab one of those discs of dough. Perfect. And you know what? We need a little bit of flour for this work, this work table. So we're about to work it out. Perfect. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. Yeah. Get that nice and dusty. This is for you, babe. Thank you. You can go ahead and add this right in here in the center. It's a podcast, babe. And get your little rolling pin ready. All right. And then we're going to roll this out. Now, we want to roll it out to an 11 inch circle like diameter. Um, so it's going to be actually bigger than this. So that then we can cramp and cut off the edges. All right. Perfect. Bell geometry. Okay. I got you. But the uh, easiest way to know that is this is a nine inch. So then when you get over it, you can see you know, how much more you need to do. Oh my God. So you don't have to really press it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. You use that way. Lean into that, lean into that shit. <laughs> body weight. Oh, that's right. Use that titty weight. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty thin uh, when you get it to the size that you need it to be to fit the tart, but it's still going to be thick enough to hold together, not rip apart how you hold it. You want to make sure of that because we want to keep all of our beautiful mushroom filling in. Now, you want it to look a little bit better than this, but for the purposes of this, we can go ahead and make this work for our tarts again. Let me take my other glove off. Right, You're doing great! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! So see, we got this right here. We're gonna take her. And let's see. Oh, look! See? So, if you have any of these little holes or gaps, make sure that you are pressing that dough together in those spots. Yeah, and then make sure you want to press the edges into it right there. So you get that beautiful crimping. And then with all that overlap, it's my favorite part. Just press down right on top. Pull it away. And you have the perfect little edge to your tart. Oh, you see that? Okay, wow. Awesome. So also, if you see any of these spots right here where you need you to fill in. You can add extra dough. You can add extra dough. But before we bake it or fill it with anything, you need to put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. So now that we've had that 15 minutes to chill in the freezer, we can go ahead and put our filling in this tart. So my favorite thing to do in this situation is to use a spatula because you want to make sure that you get every little ounce of that liquid and all that filling. Wait. I have to let her know. 
that works. Yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and scoop that in there. And then make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout that little part. Uh, so now all we have to do is toss it in the oven at 375 for about 40 minutes. And watch this. And thanks to the magic of TV, here we are with our prepared medicated mushroom parmesan tart. Oh, look at this, Bambi. You did it. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> now, I'm not sure on dosage of this, but I would be sure to uh, take it a little bit easy because it's going to be delicious and you don't want to do a lot. So, like half a pie slice? Yeah. Mm. Well, let's get into eating this. Let's do it. Well, thank you so much for joining us in the kitchen today. We hope you enjoyed Lucy Stool's medicated mushroom tart and our special guest, Miss Lucy Stool. Lucy, do you have anything to plug? Well, you know, I don't have anything specific except for my plugs, which can be found at lucystool.com backslash shop. Go ahead and look those up, everybody. Yes, I love it. You don't want to plug your social? Or oh, well, I mean, everyone knows where to find me. I mean, there's Xtuber. Oh, you mean Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty is Lucy Stool. T-Y-I-S-L-U-C-Y-S-T-O-O-L-E. You can find me everywhere. OnlyFans coming soon. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to the kitchen, Lucy. I really appreciate Baby, it. Baby, thank you for having me. Oh, sounds like our next guest is arriving. Join us next week to see who we dish with.